Release. 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 This week on the Tea Zone, we have a fabulous woman because I use her thing nearly every day. Face Gym is a face workout for the forgotten 40 muscles in your face. She kind of earned her stripes by visiting probably 500 million spas around the world. She was the best guinea pig to understand what was a great service you would give a woman when she wants to relax and feel better about herself. And then she started her own brand. So please, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Inga Thorin from Face Gym. Darling, it's very how nice to have you? you here because I think about you every morning. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> that's a nice intro. Sometimes a T-zone is skin carry, and sometimes that's a hook. Anyone who wants to kind of see boobs out Elizabeth Hurley, how you hoit them up, or, <laughs> you know, a lovely head of Vodafone, this is going to be about our skin. <laughs> what about bad, bad, lifting and toning the forgotten 40 muscles in the face, because everyone knows you've got 600 in your body, but you've got 40 plus muscles in your face, and I bet you nobody even knows one. Do you know one I, muscle in your face? I know. That By name. Names? I mean, when my lovely person who sometimes comes to work me out says, Lift your Guthora Max. So I said, can you just call it my bottom and which part I should lift? Because I still, 30 years later of exercise, don't know. You trained a lot, didn't you? You're, yes. you're one of your, I mean, you've had incarnations like me. Have you I, ever gone I, days without it? Well, I've always, well, I mean, actually now, since I've had the kids, I don't work out nearly as much. If I'm honest with you, I did my first yoga class in three years yesterday. And I had to literally start from scratch. Okay. I couldn't even do a chaturanga. He was like, focus, your movements are out of sync. And God, tough teacher, your movements are out of sync. So when you did, when you started on the Financial Times in How to Spend It, were you, did you pitch them and say, I want to write about spas? How did it come about? Actually, I'd invented a board game, as you do. Yeah, and I was I living in Los Angeles, yeah. um, you know, basically done like TV deals with Ridley Scott. And I was like running around the fast crowd in LA, invented this board game called Hollywood Domino. I'd spent my money as if I'd invented Monopoly. Yeah. And so I just had an enormous health crash. And actually the FT had done a big story on me because what crazy woman in the world would create a board game. One way ticket to India to learn to meditate just so I could go back to sleeping again. Jillian calls me and she's like, oh, Inga, listen, we're doing a big story on young female entrepreneurs. What are you doing? And I was like, Jillian, I I'm finished. Like, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. I'm a spa junkie. Yeah. I'm going to spend the rest of my money getting forehand massages around the world. And I'm probably going to have to marry a masseuse because I'm going to run out of money soon. And she said, we want to follow you. Can you take us around the world with you? A woman in her, in her 30s who had a midlife crisis, left her job and is yeah. now meditating through India. And so I said, okay, fine. Okay, I want to get started on something yes. because you go traveling and you look for things. Yes. All right. So this is the thing that I, I found you, you were getting out of this box. Yes. So uh, I you, have actually you tried still, this? So I actually still write for the FT and okay. I was just uh, in Japan uh, a couple of weeks ago. Can and so I'm, hair back? I'm a little bit obsessed with CO2. Obviously, we actually already use it in face gym because yeah. it's incredibly good for fine lines and wrinkles, mm. collagen, elasticity. Oh, look at um, that. Just can I just go up close and personal? Wobbly, jelly-like. What and does this, this do? Yeah, this is the CO2 powder, which basically creates all of this lovely volume. Okay, you go. Okay, okay and then like this. <sighs> Please okay. mix away. And Look then we start this. bubbling. People are looking into CO2 just yeah. for all those reasons. Oh, if you can see how beautifully that actually bubbles. And I think the big thing right now is that people are moving away from sheet masks because they're really... Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, I'm going to put some on I was meant okay. to do that to you. Okay, you can do it. Well, then you can do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. so, am I meant to put it on lightly? Yes, look, you just take this delicious foam and then you basically put it on. And this is all that really good CO2 which actually brings oxygen into the skin. So oh. you don't, I think the big thing in skincare right now is not about putting collagen in, putting hyaluronic in, yeah. putting oxygen in. It's all about getting to the root cause. It's actually going, why is your skin not producing as much hyaluronic? Why is it not producing as much collagen? Yeah. And actually putting in actives that is going to take your skin cells back to what they were doing 10 years yeah. ago. That's what it is. And it's also very good for fine lines, wrinkles, collagen, and elasticity. This is a 
really interesting tool. It's called the six pad, how it basically works. So incredible. And it's actually a very, very smooth pull. It's working this masita muscles. It's the one that you use to chew and it's actually the strongest muscle yeah. in your entire body. I mean, the one doubt I have with these, cause I do a lot of lymphatic on myself. Yes. And I'm always about clearing the channel, then slowly going up there, going around to the, the lymph nodes, then going down to the clavicle and releasing is you're going up, but then you're coming down again. And it's like, you know, but this actually sort of... is working on the muscle. So what you're yeah. doing with your lymph is actually much lighter because the lymph sits a lot closer to the I skin. Know, but you don't know if how you, tough I am on my skin. If you, well, then you're not <laughs> okay. using the lymph properly. So this you can actually feel you're going into the actual muscles, uh -huh. releasing tension. What we're seeing a lot at the moment is because we're all so stressed. That tension, we've, that, yeah. We're we're getting TMJ. So it's a What's lot. That? Of, What's it's that? It's basically a, a, like a tight muscle okay. in the jaw and TMT, and it actually yeah. does impact the way you look you know where you can actually be, look quite angry when you keep a lot of tension yeah. in the jaw I so know, we're yeah. very very big <laughs> believers in actually manipulating and releasing some of this tension inside the jaw and so if you can get one of these machines mm -hmm. that works really well if not there's also other things that you can do by actually massaging inside your mouth so you just basically take your index fingers mm -hmm. place them inside your mouth and push, push release push. Release. Push. Release. release. Push. Release. release. Yeah. This is, and this is actually working the muscles. And then we have another one here. This is the, called the cheek burpee. Hand to the side and... Oh, the other side. This is difficult. What's this doing? It's working on this uh, zagomaticus, giving you really good cheekbones and sculpting. Oh, what is your thing? Other side. Difficult this. Really I've never difficult. In my life. I thought you were never going to teach something new. I have never done that. I do yeah. it at home, ladies. It's yeah. really interesting. Just hold on. Actually, keep your keep the palm here, and then you go blow out. Can you show me how to use this properly? Do you know what? It's such an easy device. Um, you almost can't actually go wrong with it. You just need a really, really good uh, gel so that it can actually conduct properly. I know, so because it never works as well as your women doing it in the place, and I want to understand why. It's because they're actually sitting there and you're sitting back and they can manipulate it quite intensely okay. and they, they use a lot of their force as well. But usually when they do it, my mouth is going... And it's not when I do it. I mean, look, can you see? It definitely is moving. Can you it see? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can feel that. Yeah, can I can you feel, feel that. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that is basically the electric muscle stimulation. This is that burpee. This is the push up. This is the muscle really working, toning and tightening and uh -huh. lifting. As you continue to do this, it tones and tightens and it actually starts sculpting. So you can actually see. Because at the moment, I'll do this. So. And I'll just go like that. Okay, so okay. I would definitely start there and basically work on that. There you can really see. Oh, you go see. back and forth. So yes, I, 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 so, I only go one way. No, yeah. So I go, you can go up. Yeah. Can you see that lovely movement Look there? Look at that movement. Okay, so basically you can do these up to 10 and then hold. Yeah. And then just depends on where you basically yeah. want to work. I then work around here. Uh -huh. Just really getting that movement there yeah. and then if you want to work around here the nasio labio lines yeah we like to do that yes yeah. that's so good for you and then of course if you want to get that nice brow lift just tell okay. me when you feel comfortable yeah, it should fine. never ever be painful okay as your muscles get stronger and stronger yeah and you can go higher and higher it's yeah. just like you don't go to the gym and you start on you know 50 kilos right yeah. you start on one kilo and you work your way up what do you think is the most important thing that women can do well i think the first thing as women we can do is change our minds so i think before i started face gym i was obsessed and i think one of the things that happened to me during my my tenure as spa junkie uh -huh. uh, for the ft writing so regularly is that i was the human petri dish but i'd also become addicted okay. so i lived Literally, every time I looked in the mirror, I saw a little line. I was like, ah, off to another doctor and the okay. Botox and the fillers and the okay. threads and yeah. the everything and yeah. actually become addicted. I think I, yeah. in my mind, I told myself I was doing this for my work, but I'd also created an addiction and I'd become unhappy with aging. And so I think okay. when I was in yeah. Mexico and I created Face Gym, it was about working with the shaman on my mind first. And the first thing he wanted me to do is change my mind, right? I'd still let everything okay. in. Yeah. And so I was like, what is creating this obsession? Why am I so miserable when I see a few 
lie. And so he yeah. worked with me um, to actually sort of, you know, approach aging in a different way and be more positive about it. Because I do believe over the years, the beauty industry had shamed me into feeling like I was getting old and I just didn't feel comfortable. So he worked on that. But in the meantime, he also had some Inca healers uh -huh. and they massaged my face every single day. So I had about two hours of face massage. And after two weeks, I promise you, I'd never looked that good. I mean, they had to like get rid of all of that gunk. They got it out they, through just, just massaging. Deep, deep tissue massage, yeah. lots of muscle manipulation. Yeah. And obviously, as you know, with, with, with a lot of these injectables, in time, they do wear off. And it was at that moment that I realized um, there is an alternative. We need something different. You don't pick up weight and then go for a tummy tuck, right? You go and cut down on your alcohol, reduce your sugar. And I was like, same for skin. There's only facials, which I don't find as effective. Yeah, me too. And then there's yeah. all the doctor stuff. Yeah. What about creating something in the middle? What about yeah. creating a Barry's boot camp or a soul cycle? I think most of us want today is not transformation. We just don't want to look tired. Yeah, I don't I want to look too. like someone else. I want to look like me, yeah. but the best version of 44 I can be. Is I, And I love that you're using that SK. I love that. I, love I forget that. how much I love that facial oh, essence. Do you know what? I'd actually forgotten about it for a while and I brought it back and I'm like, I'm not letting Such you go nice this product. time. Yeah. Essence to me is the one step you must never let go yeah, of because it's like that beautiful I drink a liter of celery juice in the morning and this is my like celery juice for my face. You drink a liter of celery juice in the morning. My God, I think you should take this mask off now. Actually, yes, well. okay. I mean, Inger, I know that you're wearing foundation when you came in. Yeah. You have such great skin. I regularly go to the gym and I use radio frequency. That yeah. is what I swear. I know, though. I love radio frequency. You have lovely skin. Oh. We're just makeup free now. Life should be about showing who you are, you know? Absolutely. And even though we love our tweakments, Basically, we love our tools. We use our hair to suddenly make us feel that's all right now. We look okay because we have our hair. You know? Oh, I've got my hair. <laughs> got my hair. Before we finish, okay. we're going to do these quick fires, okay, okay. Which, which I do with everybody. Would you rather be without the internet for a week or without your phone? Without the internet. <laughs> 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 Don't, I'm not going to let you say that you can use... But my phone is on my phone. internet, exactly. Okay. Right. <laughs> Without a means of calling people, I'm not going to say the internet. Right. Desert Island skincare product. Um, my SK2 Essence. You would? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it nearly does everything. Would you rather live in Antarctica or the Sahara Desert? The Sahara Desert. You would? Really? Yeah. Why? Because I'm African and my, my body has been built to survive that. So I don't burn. In the genes. It's in the genes. You don't so, burn. And, and apparently I was from a tribe that used to walk up and down the Sahara Desert. So of God, course... I'd like to throw that in my heritage. <laughs> Fantastic. I did my DNA testing and I'm from some great big hunter-gatherer tribe. So I would do well. God, I, I want to find out mine. Vitamin C or hyaluronic acid? Crikey. No! Listen, I think we already, if you're treating your body well, your body's naturally making its own hyaluronic. There are now widely huge studies on the impact of pollution on pigmentation. Yep. So I'd have to say vitamin C. Vitamin C. Yeah. Okay, great. Can I say it's been a delight and I haven't even discussed with you, you are a serial entrepreneur and you're going to be doing great things next year as well. So we're really excited to see what you've got to come. And I know that you've, you've been on this journey, you know, and, sure. and um, I sometimes feel not lonely in my entrepreneurial journey, but there aren't many other women I know so it's very nice today that we got to know each other a bit better. I feel now I could call you and say, hey, Inga, 100%. this shit's happening. How do I deal with it? You know, it's just, it's lovely to get to know women like yourself better. Aww, thank you very much thank for coming you. on the show. So nice to have Great. you. Thank you, Inga, everybody. Yeah. Woo! Yeah.